Hi everyone and welcome to the Baby Bunting Live Series Episode 8. Tonight's episode is all about the Moby Baby Carriers. We have Christy from The Amazing Baby Company who will be demonstrating a few of the Moby products in our great range. We are running a competition tonight for your chance to win a Moby Move Carrier. All you have to do is comment in our Facebook Live thread and tell us your favourite feature of any of the products shown tonight. You can also pop any questions in our comments and we'll answer them at the end in our Q&A or we'll have someone from our team get back to you on a, um, later on, sorry. So now I'll hand over to Christy who will demonstrate the Moby Move first. Thanks, Mel. Um, so the one that I'm holding here, like Mel said, is the Moby Move. This is what you will go in the running to win. Um, the first thing, actually, what I will say first, it, please ignore my shirt riding up. So if anyone sees that, just give me a wave. I'm 29 weeks pregnant, so it tends to happen. <laughs> um, the first thing I'll actually point out with this carrier is that it falls in the category of structured carriers. Um, it's suitable from birth, which is roughly 3.2 kilos all the way to 20.4 kilos. So, I mean, that's really rough. It depends on your, how big your child is. That could be a three-year-old, four-year-old, um, but it, re it really depends. Um, the great, well, first thing I'll point out about this car carrier is the markers on the inside, which works like a guide on how to use it. So, from inward carrying, which is the birth position, uh, you want to have your markers close together just like the top section there and then it'll give you a guide on both age and height and weight um, in regards to when you move on to your next steps. Um, the four carry positions that this carrier offers is birth which is inward facing, um, you can then also do a hip carry, you can do a back carry and you can do world facing as well. And the first one I'm actually going to show you of course is from birth. Um, so what you're going to want to do when you're putting the carrier on is move it around towards the back. I always like to start from the back so I can actually see what I'm doing as well. You'll notice there's another little safety um, elastic band here. Pop your buckle through there and clip it on. You want to make that nice and secure. You can see that even if that was to come undone, the carrier is not going anywhere with that little safety loop. From that point, swing that one around. Just a little bit of an adjustment. Nice little trick to learn, especially when you're just beginning and wearing a baby and it's a little bit of a test as to how you're going to wear it. You will need to adjust before you actually wear with baby. Just grab a little baby doll, Jessie, here. So you're gonna pick up baby nice and secure. This is a newborn size, roughly. Um, and what you're going to do is you're just going to give them a nice little cuddle. You're going to have um, their head up towards the bottom of your chin so you can kiss the top of their head so you know that they're not too low down. And you're just going to measure where the bottom of their bum is. So you can actually feel roughly where you want your carrier to sit. I'm going to pop baby back down. Baby doll, I should say. And just adjust my carrier so I know it's at the right position. From that point, so you can see I've actually already got this all ready to go. I've already tested it. I've popped it on and done a couple of little adjustments based on how I'm going to show you how to put it on today, which is sometimes referred to as the T-shirt method. This is the method that we find most parents are, are more comfortable with. Um, and to do that, you're gonna pick up baby, just position them again onto your chest and onto the little seat there, so you can see they're already seated onto the waist belt. And from that point, you're just gonna grab your carrier. You're gonna pop it straight over your head. Your arm's gonna go through that little loop there. And then with your other arm, you're then gonna support baby wrapping around the carrier as well. And then this arm goes back through. So if you, at no stage, you're ever actually letting go of baby. Now your carrier's on, baby's in the actual seated position. You're ready to adjust your buckles. So the other great feature of this carrier, the Moby carrier, is that you've got two ways that you can actually make an adjustment. Adjustment For me, it's pulling this way, but you might be more flexible or less flexible and you might find that the position from the back is actually easier. That's why we have a two-way pull on our carriers. The other little benefit of this newborn 
style of carrying is that you've got a little extra pocket at the top here. So great for little pacifiers and things like that. It does actually store your 50 plus treated privacy hood, which will attach to your um, carrier. Great for if you, babies are asleep and you want to give them a little bit of privacy, but also if you're out and about and it's quite sunny. Um, so I'll just take that off for the purpose of the demo, demo at the moment. And for newborn, I'm actually also going to tuck this in. So you've got quite a good padded head support on there. Tuck this in to support their neck and their head. Just make sure that you've got baby's little bum in that pocket there. And to readjust and make sure they're in optimal positioning, what you're going to do is pop your hands through the bottom of the carrier here, lift their little bum up and slide them into the pocket. So you've got legs in that M position. And that's what we talk about when, uh, that's what we refer to when we're talking about optimal hip health, is that M positioning there. So you want the seat fabric from knee to knee, bum nice and tight in that pocket. You can still get your hands between baby and yourself, um, but you can obviously see that they're not gonna go anywhere from that position either. So your hands free now. Uh, baby's nice and snug, they're not gonna go anywhere. You can move around the house. Been, for me personally, I actually found this a dream around the house for vacuuming, making beds, um, all of those sort of tasks that you require for hands-free um, but necessarily can't do when you've got a, quite a restless baby or a refluxy baby. My husband found it quite useful to also um, birth with baby in the carrier as well. So just another little thing in a way to really create bonding and have skin on skin with your partner as well as mum. Um, so great little tip. The other little safety tips that you want to be, that we want to point out as well to make sure that they're in an optimal position for breathing and air ventilation is obviously having chin up. You don't want that chin to chest. I can see that I can see baby's nose and mouth, so they have optimal airflow, um, and baby's comfortable and not restless. Their face isn't pressed right against my chest, and that's really important also. From this point, you'll probably use this. This would be our most popular or the most popular position, especially for newborn. Once you move up into, say, from three to three to six months or even up to nine months, again, depends on what size baby you have, you then can make the adjustment of having your little barrier or extra head support on the outward position. So that's going to allow for a little bit of extra room. When baby gets even larger, as you can see, I'm shuffling all this waistband and fabric down and baby's asleep or they've grown in length and you want to add even more support, that's when you're going to actually buckle up your little head support at the top here. A little bit more difficult to demonstrate with a smaller baby, but we're going to pretend it's a larger one at the moment. And that's what it's going to look like when you've got your head support barrier at the top here. The next carry position that we find probably the second most popular would be outward facing or world facing. From this point, so I'll take baby out. And again, once I've released the straps, you can see that I'm never letting go of the baby, always supporting with at least one arm. From this point, you can get it nice and loose reach in there and grab baby under the arms and lift baby out. Nice to take baby Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> so for outward facing or world facing, you're basically going to be doing the same thing, but again, remembering that they're now moving on to roughly or approximately nine months, depending on the child. And you will be putting them in the exact same way, but they're obviously going to be um, facing the world. So again, all you're going to need to do is remove this one and then you're essentially going to be picking up your child. Thank you. And hold, holding them nice and close to your chest and then pulling your carrier back over the top of your head. Oh. 
holding them again with your opposite hand against your body while you tighten the straps. And that is your wheel facing position. So very, very easy. All the padding down the bottom here as well, all the, the material is heavily padded um, so that it's nice and supportive of baby's bum and legs and limbs and it's not putting any strain on them either. The next carrier position, which is a little bit more unique, we always find that parents will generally use inward carrying or outward carrying. You can also hip carry, which is quite a unique one. I won't use the baby for this demo, only because it is a little bit smaller, too small for hip carrying or even back wearing. Um, really, you would only use this position for nine months plus at least. What you're going to do to be able to hip carry is undo both of these side buckles here. As you can see, it's really, really easy to remove them. You're going to undo this buckle at the top as well. So all three. Simply spin that to the side. You're then going to pick up your child or um, nine month old to nine month plus. Pop them onto your hip, supporting with one hand. You're literally just going to repeat that same process. So you're holding on to them and the carry at the same time. This strap is going to go around the top and then reach around the back. Swap your hands, so you're releasing with the free hand, swapping it over. So at the same time, you can just grab that clip as you're supporting baby. Pass it through the fabric loop there and do that one up. This strap and goes around behind your back. And doing that one up on the side there. And that one is your hip carrying position. Really depends on what you're more comfortable with. Once you start actually putting baby in there and you've used your carry arc um, more often, you will become more confident and you'll really just try and test which ones work for you. Um, the next carry position that you will potentially use, and this is always from at least nine months plus, is back carrying. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. For me personally, I was always more confident having my partner there to be able to pop baby in, or actually I, was, I waited until he was up to 12 months old and he was walking, and I could potentially then put him on like it was a backpack. So I'd actually ask him to jump on my back like a piggyback and then I would put the carrier over the top. But if you don't have someone to help you, or if your child's a little bit younger, then what you're actually going to do, just do these buckles up. Just like I had them in the beginning. And you're going to put this on like you did at the start. Obviously these are going to be a lot a lot more loose because we're back carrying in your, you've got to imagine that we're putting a much larger child in there now rather than a newborn baby. And from this point, pop this on over my top of my head. I don't have a large child or a baby that I can put in there at the moment, so we're just going to have to pretend. Um, but what you're going to do, if, I, if you can see that I'm putting weight in that actual seat there, you're going to pop your arm through the carrier here and start twisting it around. So you can see it then moves over to the side. There's still support there, you haven't taken anything off or actually undone any of the buckles at this stage. And then you're actually going to lean forward, naturally because they're a little bit older as well, they're going to have a grasp and they're going to hold on to you. You're going to lean forward a little bit and start manoeuvring them onto your back. So from this stage, that's when you then Pop your other arm through and you're going to move them over this way. Pop your arms back through the straps. Do this one up nice and tight and then these two here as well. So that is all four carry positions. A couple of other nice little features about this carry in particular. Something that I really love, especially in the times like today. Um, it's machine washable. So 
you don't need to do anything else with it. You don't need to put it in a delicate bag or anything like that. You can if you wanted to. Um, but it's a great reason to be able to just take it out to the shops, especially containing child when or baby and you don't want um, them touching trolleys or anything else like that. And then bring this straight home and rather than trying to wash all of your fabrics on your prams and things, all you're gonna have to do is chuck your carrier in the wash. It's also a um, breathable mesh material and it's incredibly lightweight. You've got a huge integrated pocket at the front for extra storage. And then you've got your little one at the top there as well. Should you wanna put a little pacifier or something in there. But as I said at the start, it's also to um, store your little hood um, that comes with the carrier itself. Uh, so you can actually get this colour from Baby Bunting in, uh, you can get the carrier in the um, Twilight Black or Glacier Grey. Um, and essentially that's the Moby Move. It's quite a, a basic carrier in general, I would say, um, but that's one of the great things about it. You don't need to do a lot of adjusting. Um, there's not a lot of clips and buckles and straps. Um, it's it's ba right back to basics, um, just like Moby, that they're all about making things easy and um, accessible for parents. So that's what I actually love about this carrier. Uh, the next one I'm going to show you, this is a personal favourite of mine. Won't ruin our display. Uh, is the wrap. Now, from experience um, and talking to to customers I know a lot of people actually find this daunting they seem to be concerned they're going to get lost in the fabric which looks like I have now but I found my middle marker so this little one here the Moby symbol this is what you're going to look for when you get out of the box so that you aren't getting lost in all the fabric this is key to keeping it um, centered on your body basically so this one here which is the Moby classic it's hundred percent cotton again machine washable you can also put this in the dryer so an amazing product, nice and stretchy, very soft, very lightweight. Um, but this really is going back to basics. If you think of even primal times, how people were carrying their children, they were always wearing their babies. So, um, and it's it's really really nice to be able to just have one piece of fabric between you and your child, um, and create a lot of like skin on skin contact when your baby wearing as well, which is great for breastfeeding and promoting breast milk and um, gets all those happy oxytocin hormones going through the body as well which is important for mums and partners um, so to pop this one on it, it is really easy I know like I said a lot of people do find it quite daunting what you're actually going to do is get your middle marker pass this around your body and from this point And then what you've done is basically created the first portion of your carrier. And that step, you're going to pass it right through the middle. And then all you have to do is actually cross that over again. And that is going to form the little seat where your baby is going to sit. And that's it. From that point, you're going to be tying it off. You don't need to do anything else. You might want to do a double knot. For me, obviously, it won't reach at the moment. So I'm going to tie it off at the back and secure that. And from this point, you're then ready to put baby in. Now, this is where I feel a lot of parents do start getting a bit nervous about putting their newborn in, especially from a newborn stage. Um, so this carrier in particular you can use from newborn all the way up to 15 kilos. Um, the trick, and this is the only real trick to it, is popping them in the panel that's closest to your body first. If you do it the other way around, you're going to struggle and you're going to have limbs and baby's going to get upset and they're going to be trying to squeeze their legs through and it just becomes a little bit overwhelming. So, like I said, the trick is, and I'll grab baby Jesse. I'm going to pop them over. You can see the panel that's closest to my body 
is on this side. I'm gonna pop baby over my shoulder on the opposite side. And all you're gonna do is supporting them with one hand, you're gonna put your other hand through that panel there and you're gonna guide them down into your carrier. When it's a real life baby, it is actually a lot easier too because naturally the weight of the baby is gonna then slide down and sit into that pocket of fabric that you've created. You're gonna spread all of that fabric out from this point, then you're just going to pop their other leg through the other side. Again, to pull all that fabric out over baby. Making sure that again, their legs are in that little pocket or in their bum is in that pocket and their legs are in that end positioning. If you need to adjust, another little trick is just lean forward slightly and naturally the weight of the baby will then push themselves in there. And the last, very last step is to grab that panel of fabric that you made at the start with your little marker, pull that up over the top. And that is your carrier. So from again, just like any other carrier, making sure that baby's head is turned to the side. You can see their airways, they're not in a chin to chest position, their face isn't covered. You can cover them slightly, so if you want a little bit of extra head support, but you want to make sure that you're just doing it so that the fabric is just going over the top of their face or their head at the back here and ending at the ear. Don't go past the ear, you don't want to cover their whole face. You just want it sitting here. So then they're nice and secure, especially if they're asleep or newborn, they've got quite a little floppy head. Um, you're just supporting that one there. That's it, it's as simple as that, putting your soft carrier on. To get baby out, because again, a lot of people do find this a bit of a daunting experience, all you're going to do is pop your fabric down slightly, don't have to pull it all the way down, and then reach in there under their arms and pull baby out. Um, and that is the basics for a soft carrier. You can, if you wanted to, pull it to the side so you can technically hip carry with this one and you're going to put it on the exact same way you literally just push all that fabric to the side like I have then and you're putting them in the carrier the exact same way as well that's all there is to it um, but yeah that's Mopi in a nutshell thank you so much Christies now Nat do we have any questions from the audience we do. So for the, the Moby Move carrier, what is the earliest age you can use this with baby? Uh, so it's tested from 3.2 kilos. If you were looking at potentially using it earlier or looking at maybe for a preemie baby or a baby that's less than 3 kilos, we'd always just advise speaking to your healthcare professional. And the other question on Instagram is how old or what is the weight limit for the Moby Move? How old can the child be? So you're looking at roughly, we always go by weight, basically because it, all children vary, but you're looking at roughly 20 kilos is maybe a four year old. Okay, and is there benefit to having both the wrap and the, the carrier, or would you just choose one? That's actually personal preference for me. So I love a wrap for newborn, just because like I said, it's you're really going back to basics. It's just a piece of fabric that's between you and baby. There's nothing else. It's just a piece of fabric that's holding baby to you, I should say. There's nothing else between it, um, which is what I love, but it's still so supportive without having buckles and other pieces of um, material there. It's 100% cotton. It's super easy to wash and dry and very quick to use. Um, and then from personal experience, I then went on to a structured carrier later on when you want more support and you actually might need to weld face and, and back carry and things like that. And yep. last question is, can you wear the carrier or the wrap when you're pregnant? Uh, you could, I think you would use, you, you would really just um, make sure that you're comfortable wearing it. It would depend on how pregnant you are. Obviously also would depend on the weight of the child. So if you're comfortable already carrying that weight, then, um, I would say yes, but if you're quite heavily pregnant, then potentially it's going to become uncomfortable a lot quicker, but it is also good to speak to your healthcare professional and get some advice from them beforehand as well. Beautiful.
Thank you so much for joining us tonight, Christy, and thank you everyone at home for watching. Please join Christy and I again Monday night where we'll be covering the Jules range. Thank you.